Hello and welcome to the art of cooking. I'm Raymond and today I'm going to teach you how to make beef with broccoli. Beef with broccoli is not Chinese cuisine, it's more westernized Chinese cuisine. To be honest, I'm not really sure if this is the beef with broccoli that you are used to getting as everyone makes it a little bit differently. Please educate me as to what yours look like as I am unfamiliar with what other regions or restaurants look like. So let's get started shall we? Cut the broccoli into bite sized pieces. Next, cut 1 fourth of a carrot into 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters at a 45 degree angle. Now cut the carrots into slices. This top round has been frozen about 30 minutes so it's easier to cut into individual slices. If you want to see how I process the top round, click on the video at the upper left corner of the screen. If you look closely, you can see the grains or the fiber going across. You want to cut at a 45 degree angle against the grain. You want to cut about an eighth of an inch or 3 millimeter in thickness. This is what it looks like. The meat is still partially frozen. Again, this is about an eighth of an inch or three millimeter in thickness. Here I have one pound or 453 grams. Add in one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one eighth teaspoon of baking soda or sodium bicarbonate, a pinch or a sprinkle of white pepper, one third cup or 237 milliliter of water, or one to two egg whites and mix. Set aside and refrigerate for at least an hour. After an hour of refrigeration, mix the meat again. After one hour, most of the liquid should be absorbed by the meat. Add in 1 fourth cup or 60 gram of cornstarch and mix. Mix until you don't see the cornstarch powder. Next, add in 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil and continue to mix. If you want less starch, just add in 1 8 cup or 30 grams of cornstarch and 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. This is what it should look like. In a wok or a pot, add in some vegetable oil and heat the oil until you reach a temperature of 250 Fahrenheit or 121 Celsius. Once 250 Fahrenheit or 121 Celsius has been reached, put the beef into the oil. Continue to turn up the heat until you reach a temperature of 325 or 163 Celsius. Make sure to occasionally stir the beef around and break up any big lumps to ensure even cooking. It should only take about a minute or so. You only want your beef to be about 30% done or cooked when you're done frying.
Once it reached 325 Fahrenheit or 163 Celsius, put in the broccoli and fry the broccoli and carrots for 20 seconds. The reason for doing this way is to get a crunchy texture on the broccoli. After 20 seconds of frying, take out the beef and broccoli from the oil. If you don't want to fry your broccoli, you can always blanch it. Blanch it for 50 seconds in the boiling water. Next, in a pot or wok, bring the water to a boil. Add the beef and broccoli into the boiling water and cook for 30 seconds. This will remove most of the excess oil. After 30 seconds of blanching, take the beef with broccoli out and set it aside. Next, in a bowl, add in 1 tablespoon of potato starch and 1 tablespoon of water, 1 to 1 ratio of potato starch to water. Next, add in 1 and 1 fourth cup or 296 milliliter of brown sauce. To make the brown sauce, click on the video on the upper right corner of the screen. Add in the potato starch mixture and stir until it thickens. So before we start walking, let me walk you through this. The first thing you need is a Pokemon, not just any type of Pokemon. You need a Charizard. You need one that can spew out more than 1 million BTU. And yes, I do have one. You just can't see him, but you can see his ferocious breath of fire under my walk. Okay, on to the next step. Once the sauce thickens, add in the beef with broccoli. And now we're ready to walk and roll. Now just stir until all the beef with broccoli are coated with the sauce. Add in 1 teaspoon of sesame oil. This is optional. So far you see me walk normally. And now I'm going to walk slowly. Just so you can get a feel of how I walk. Sooner or later you'll be a walkaholic. Just like me. And that's how you walk the walk. And now it's time for plating. Doesn't this look beautiful and delicious? So here's a close-up of what it looks like. Who's salivating? I know I am. And I get to eat it. You can't. But you can if you make this. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this video. I hope you try this and let me know what you think. Please comment, subscribe, fave, like, rate, and thank you for watching. Good luck walking.